Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Gin with Spearing, Gin Innovating Now with Rutico. Today we're with Rob from KO, and we're talking about the sustainable marking solution that they offer. If you're an OEM, end user manufacturer, or a system integrator, continue watching this video, and especially if you're looking to achieve a payback in 12 months. Twenty twenty three is shaping up to be an exciting year for KO, and I'm delighted to welcome back Rob Williams back in the studio today. Rob, welcome back, okay, to Ritika. Thank you, Darren. Nice to see you. So we've seen tremendous interest in KO uh, and their marking solution in twenty twenty two. So this video is all about Rob. You know, talking about twenty twenty three. Uh, I know you got some new products, and just giving a bit of a refresh on the market and how you can give some benefits to customers. Of course. There's a huge amount of challenges now facing manufacturers, OEMs and system integrators in 2023. Things like the energy prices continuing to rise, there's been a number of supply chain issues and also companies looking how to achieve net zero and looking at ESG projects or sustainability targets. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to give the tools to these companies to solve those challenges. One of the key elements that we can offer um, is about the removal of consumables from, from production lines. That not only has an impact in reducing total costs, but it also means more um, a simplified supply chain and therefore they're not having to stock or manage uh, label material or inks or uh, makeup, these types of consumables where any issues around the supply of those will immediately have an impact on production. So with a laser, it's a very efficient and robust technology. Once it's installed, it will work time and time and time again. A new um, innovation we've got this year is our Kyo Make Bright solution for marking cardboard. So by using a laser to mark cardboard boxes, you're immediately removing the need for traditional technologies such as print and apply labels or large character ink jets. That, of course, will reduce the operating costs. It will improve line efficiency because of the efficiency of the laser, but it will also mean that you're um, improving the sustainability aspect. So by removing those, you can achieve a sustainability improvement of around 90% from the more traditional methods. The quality we can achieve is, is fantastic and it's unique to us. So we can produce text, logos, graphics, machine readable codes. And the machine readable codes have been uh, measured against the um, ISO 29158 and we can achieve an A grade quality on those. And that's really important to make sure that on those production lines, if there's vision systems in place, that those codes are going to be read time and time and again and reduce the number of rejects on the production line. You, you mentioned about the, uh, the card, which is a, a big step forward. I think by having something printed on in that way on a cardboard box is just so much more sustainable, isn't it? It would just go straight into the recycling process without having to remove any inks or exactly. labels. So again, it's just simplifying the whole process. So you mentioned about the, the, the cardboard side of it, which is a big step forward for you guys. What other materials can you, you print on? So we produce a range of lasers so that we can apply a code onto almost any material. So a, a CO2 laser, you be marking organic materials, so cardboard, paper, wood, leather, glass, those types of materials, but also we do fibre and green lasers, so if we're marking metals, all different metals or plastics, huge amount of experience with plastics, mm -hmm. to make sure that we have the right solution to achieve what the customer's looking to, to mark. And, and with our experience in, in handling all those different types of materials, we know the correct settings to use to make sure that the quality can be achieved that the customer's looking for and also maintained throughout the production. Mm -hmm. I know we spoke in the past about the whole traceability piece, which is becoming so so much more relevant these days. Um, and again, you, you mentioned about marking onto metals. I've seen lasers that really struggle to print onto to stainless steel. So, you know, how's that as a material for your laser solution? It's a, a key strength of ours is how we would mark stainless steel. So traditional fiber laser on stainless steel you would mark the surface, but by doing that, you would penetrate the chromium layer. Mm -hmm. By penetrating the chromium layer, that then opens that material up, that it will then rust if it comes into in contact with moisture. What we can do is we can achieve a really high quality mark or, or code, but without 
penetrating the chromium layer, so it's on top of the chromium layer. And then that means that the um, integrity of the product is maintained, so there'll be no issues further down the life of that product. And it is something that we've had a huge amount of success and it's made a real difference to customers mm. that we're able to do that. I, I think that's one of the, the key differences, uh, you offering that and, and your experience in having to mark things that isn't affecting that, that surface integrity going forward. Um, my background is, is Lucas. We had lots of components and different types of materials. So again, it's becoming fundamentally more important to have something that goes onto a vehicle, especially batteries and things like that, that in five years time, they can still read codes going forward. Are you helping those industries as well? Exactly. I mean, traceability is becoming a bigger and bigger factor, whether it's automotive, aerospace, a variety of different industries are requiring it. And of course, that's making the code more complex. Mm. So therefore, then the time available starts to become more of a factor. And because of the speed and accuracy of a laser, it's ideally suited to that. And in conjunction with our software, which is very simple to use, setting up templates or for operators on production lines, it means that we can maintain that quality and maintain that code for the life of that product. That's absolutely brilliant. And, uh, and you've got a new product, um, the, the Vega product, the desktop. Can you explain a bit more about that? So th this is an exciting new product from us for this year. So this is a, a tabletop um, fiber laser. So uh, looking for you know smaller customers who don't have millions of products to mark. So something that's very simple and easy to install and then really easy to use. So it's designed to make the operator's life as simple as possible. So the door will lift, you can load the parts, door will close, mark, lift, take the parts out, put the next products in. You can do that with a human being of course, but if you wanted to further automate, it's something that could easily be set up with a robot. And again, it's, it's, it's marking it accurately, then you can vision check it to make sure it's right and then it's off into a store's location. Exactly, Again. and it's a cost effective solution. Mm. So it's designed to solve the challenge that, that smaller companies may have where they need the marking and rather than having to spend huge amounts of money on sending products out to be done, which of course takes time and effort, this is something they can then bring in house and increase their efficiency. And it's how Kaya have been successful. It's all around delivering solutions that customers need. So identifying a challenge that customers have, and then we design a solution on how to, to meet it. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who will be interested in this technology and and looking for an opportunity to compare what they're currently using. So, so how can yourself um, support that going forward? So always happy to talk to customers about their particular application. We can produce samples on their material so they'll get a real life mm. representation of what they will see. And then we can work with them on their real figures for, for costs and, and uh, efficiency so that we can then give them a true payback period, which mm. we would count in a period of months, not years. I think that's really important, isn't it? You know, when you look at the, the investment, it's time and effort. But again, if you can offer payback analysis to say it's going to pay back in based on your application. I know all customers aren't the same and there will be differences in terms of the frequency and the number of materials, type of materials and, and what they're looking to achieve. But I think having that statement, the payback within 12 months is, is so powerful. Exactly. And it's, it's something that we can demonstrate with the customer's own numbers. So mm -hmm. it's not something where we're using inflated figures. We will use the customer's real numbers mm -hmm. to give them a real figure. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're looking to get in touch um, and, and look to see uh, how KO can offer an alternative to potentially what you're currently using, whether it be, could be laser already they're using, couldn't it? So, or inkjet and other types of printing, uh, printing media, then obviously please use the below links as part of this, this video. Thanks, thanks for that, Robin, being with us today. Please like and subscribe to our channel and look out for another Jim Whispering video coming very soon. Thank you.